Welcome, friends! Hello, everybody! We are back with a game that I like a lot, and I know it's a few of you also like it a lot. Maybe not everybody, but uh, <laughs> at least a few uh, really enjoy this game, and that's why we're gonna play more of it. This is Zelda 2, not the base game, but the special version that was created by Hoverbat, which is called, I think, Link is Adventuresome. That's why I put LIA. Um, we played this game mm, one week, one and a half weeks ago, two weeks ago, and now we're returning to this game because we want to do the second quest. So without further ado, we'll try to select, yes, this one. We named our game after Mana, and as you can see, there's a Triforce symbol next to Link, which means we have defeated uh, Ganon in the regular version, and now we'll continue here with the second quest. So let's go. I have no clue what's happening now. And we'll just check this out. Take this and defeat Dark Link once again. Uh, okay, let's, let's start a counter as usual. Counter is started. Now uh, let's take what? Okay, we have all the magic available. Oh, shit, I activated thunder. <laughs> um, what I wanted to do was this. Okay, we have... What is that? What is that item? It looks like a bottle. Not sure exactly what that means. Link, be brave and good luck on your journey. Okay. All right. All right. Um, let's see how that goes. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, there was. There were a few things right away from the start. Oh wait. Oh man, I have a... Uh, I have to... Oh man, this is not... Wait, what? I think we lost the downward step. Hey, Mana! Welcome, welcome! I think we, we have all the spells available, but we don't have the downward step and the upward thrust. Otherwise, I completely miss how the controls work. <laughs> so, um... Uh, I guess we have to... Uh... Yo, we don't have those. I don't know if we can just go to the castle then. I think we level up completely. Oh wait, we also don't have the, you know, the, uh, it's called the life containers and so on. What is this? Okay, cool. Pretty good. We can find things now in the darkness. <laughs> nice. Okay. How are you doing, Mana? Everything fine for you? Doing good? Okay. We'll take this back. I oh, uh, that was a. Yeah, that's a more unpleasant one. Yeah, all good about it. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Isn't there something also here in the forest? Yeah, no, I, I didn't mean like a random encounter. I meant uh, like a... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, I meant like an item drop or something. No? Okay. Work tomorrow, work sucks, man. I also can't... Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, it's not like I can't believe that I have to go back to work, but I really don't want to go back to work tomorrow. I had a nice weekend, I would really wish it would continue a little longer. <laughs> Did you have a nice weekend? I think there was something also here. Eee, not. Nice. I think that's still not enough to... Uh... Wait, uh... Yep, we still need one more. So we can... Uh... Can we go up there later? I don't remember. Looks very high. So fairy spell doesn't work, so we would have to make it with jump. I'm not so sure that works. I think that's pretty impossible. There, you really need the. Uh, you really need um, light. Crap. But we have a long weekend coming up. Friday is a holiday. Ooh, that's great. Had a good weekend. Today we went to play bowling. Then we did an escape room. It was cool. Ah, uh, yeah, you you said that on the stream. I remember. So, I did already several escape rooms, and in my opinion... Ah, it's a pee bag. Mmm. All that pee, huh? So, I did a few escape rooms so far, and for me it's very... ...divisive, because it's very dependent on the escape room itself. I did one or two, two escape rooms that were, like, super cool with cool puzzles and long and the story was really funny and a little crazy and a little disgusting and then I think I did one or two that were like very boring and there was not much to do and the puzzles were strange so it's uh, for me it's a hit or miss I don't know how it was for you uh, what was it about was there any backstory or just like uh, open all the locks Hello, young fellow. Ma'am. Hello. My name is Andrew. Andrew, yeah, there was the thing with the... with the book. Uh, what we did, we it was super simple. Uh, with the exception of one puzzle in it. Ah, okay. Get candle in Parapapellas. Go west. I guess those is cl yeah, this is closed again. Okay, we have to reopen all the city connections. That's fine. But are we really level 9? Because then we should kill basically everything with one hit. Would make it a little easier. What's that? Talk with my father before you leave town. Okay. What does he have to say? I'm sorry, is that you arrived at Atlantis? Ooh, but there is a curse. It makes you unable to escape unless you find the Trident of Poseidon. Wow, that sounds really cool. Nice. The first one that I did was really cool also. It was like a wasted military outpost, so everything was was dark and, and, uh, and foggy and you didn't see much. And we had to operate a machine. And the machine turned out to be a bomb that goes off in 60 minutes, so you have 60 minutes to disable it. Otherwise, everything blows up. That was really cool. <laughs> hey, first is northwest. Is that the same as in the first playthrough? Let's check it out. I hope I still have the document. First is northwest. No, it's new. First it was northeast. So, uh, we have to make a copy for second quest. First is north west. So, it's not the same. I mean, it's actually good. It means we have to puzzle something. Otherwise, it would be boring. So, I'm happy that it's different. But that sounds like a cool story part, so nice. Sounds really cool. Did it have some magic stuff also, or was it all uh, basically just logic? Oh, whoa. Well, there was one puzzle where there's a long strip of cloth with letters on it. Uh, but we were confused because some letters seemed out of place. At the same time, there was a sword laying around, which we thought 
you need it to insert at some point later, but actually it turns out you're supposed to wrap the long strip of cloth around the sword and use the letters on one side of the sword. I know what you mean, I had a puzzle like this also in... I think it was not an escape room, it was an escape room game that you can assemble at home, where you had to, you had to wrap something around and then you could read straight like the solution while uh, you bend something over it. It's a cool thing, yeah. It's nice. Some kind of deciphering. Cool, yeah, that sounds really nice. Who's this? I saw a heart near North Castle. Okay. Please let me help you. Good. Thanks for the help. Going out there all alone is dangerous. Going out there all alone is dangerous? And then what, you come with me or what? <laughs> it's good that it seems that you have to think outside the box, but at the same time I thought it's like a bit too much. We end up using a hint for that, which feels bad because I'm competitive in nature. Yeah, in the escape rooms I really feel like that if you have a group of people Turn the crystal to the palace in Parapa, okay? If you have a group of people, that's really a benefit because everybody has like a little different thought process. And that means when you're in a group, then you might use, might be able to solve one group of puzzles and somebody else might be better at solving another group of puzzles. So you're really like combining your brain power. That's really cool. I like that a lot. That uh, really shows you that people do think differently. True, yeah. So I like actually if you go in in, um, in bigger groups and for the ones that we went in they also had like a dynamic number of puzzles depending on how many people were there. So if you go like with two or three people then they remove a few puzzles and if you go with more people then they add a few more. So you're basically always I think busy for like 60 minutes. That's also nice. Okay. Yeah, overall, it's a, it can be a very enjoyable experience depending on the room itself. But if you have a good room, then it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hmm. Where is it in the last position, I guess? Wait, what? Hey. Ugh. This kind of thing. Oh, there it is. Nice. Nice, but it's only one out of three. So we have to find three more for that. It's crazy. <laughs> Also, by the way, congrats, Mana, for the 152 shrines in Tears of the Kingdom. Very cool. What I like is it... Wait. Oh, sorry. Uh, what I liked about this is that there is a waterfallish barrier you're supposed to turn off. Waterfallish barrier you're supposed to turn off, but later in the game one player has to go back and stay back. So the game activates the water barrier again because the next puzzle has to be done from two separate rooms. With a hole between them, cool. That's nice. We had something, no not similar, but we had at some point that we were in a building where seemingly, seemingly a guy took people hostage. But it was just, um, how do you say, like, not confirmed, this is like, uh, allegedly. And so we had to, we had to, we were like detective and we were searching his whole apartment. 
And what, what happened was eventually we found like a small door and then one person had to crawl through this small door uh, and we had a flashlight, you know, and nobody was like, was like, what is there? What, what is this? <laughs> So that was kind of creepy a little bit, and then some, uh, somebody was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> it was also kind of cool. So, you know, that, that's not like a puzzle. It, it's not like difficult, but it was cool, like it was very atmospheric to do that. So, you can do cool things with those, uh, with those uh, escape rooms. That was really a very cool thing to do. I think, uh, I know, I remember where this heart thing is, but it doesn't do much because if we get one more heart piece, we're not really gaining anything from that. Yeah, we're very strong. I mean, we still have the max level here. That's... Yeah, that's very strong. That means also we should... Oh, ah, I don't have the downward step. I keep forgetting it. It's also why I think this guy dies in one hit, huh? Yeah. Nice. Alright, here we are. Dungeon 1, let's go! Is there already a bottle here? No. Ooh, there's another hard container. Then we could actually have three. I think there's one more. Hmm. Wondering what happens if you have if you beat that dungeon, do you then also get like a level up? That's a lot. Usually I don't do very good in bowling, but today I got like three, four strikes. Ooh, happy about that. That's cool. That's pretty nice. I'm usually able to do a nice amount of spares. Not like a lot, but some, but strikes rarely. But spares I think I, I can do sometimes. Whoa. Okay. Do we have anything useful here? Not sure. Gotcha. Yeah, bowling is cool, but I prefer a little bit um, Keegan we have. Oh, whoa. Thought I killed everybody. No. We have a German version of that, or... I think that's, that's not correct to say that. There's like a game very similar to that in Germany, and probably the German game is older. <laughs> because Germany is older than America, but uh, it's a little different, but it's mostly similar. You throw a ball and you have to hit some things. And in, the thing is, in Germany the game is you're trying to hit 10 pins instead of... No, you're hit, trying to hit 9 pins instead of 10. And the game recognizes which of them you hit and is storing that in kind of a memory, so you can play with a memory. And the good thing about that is that there are a lot more games to play. So your game is not only to hit all of them, there can be also games that you have to hit specific ones or you have to make combinations. And so there's like endless different games that you play by throwing the ball on those nine pins. While when you play bowling, there's only one game that is hit as much as you can. While, yeah. So there's a lot more variety in the German version, and I like it a lot, but... Yeah, it's not so famous. In Germany, also, the bowling completely took over. Because, uh, well, it's a cool thing, and there's disco bowling, where they have cool lights and shit. And so they put a lot of disco shit everywhere, uh, sorry, bowling shit everywhere. And Kegel is kind of, the other one is kind of dying out. I guess if you ask like a youth of today, they don't even know what Keegan is at all. But uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. Because it's a really cool game. Like my, my girlfriend is not from Germany. And she went bowling in her country, like yeah sure. And then we went Keegan and she was like, I have no clue how to do that and how that works. And then she went and she was like, this is way better. <laughs> and we were like, oh yes. This is way better. <laughs> Nobody has it. <laughs> Don't you try in Germany if I ever go there. 
Yeah, but you will have even trouble finding it because it's really not so um, easy to find nowadays. If you want to go bowling in Germany, you can go it like everywhere, but if you want to go Kegeln, you really have to, to look for a place. I think uh, we have to kill that guy and if I remember correctly, it was behind him. Shit. Man, we're very strong with level 9 here. Oh no, we need a key, please. Do we have a key? Oh nice, it's a full mana potion. No, we don't have a key. That would have been a candle. Shit. Alright, time to go find a key. I say if you go to Germany, you can you can check if you can visit me. That would be fun. I can arrange it for sure. But you can also do a lot of other things if you ever plan to visit Germany, of course. <laughs> I would appreciate if you visit. It would be nice for me. It would be uh, it would be cool. But I also understand if you wanna go to the other end and see like Berlin or something, the capital, also be totally fine. That's a free heal, but I don't think we need a free heal. What we do need is a key so we can get the candle because otherwise I don't see much. There is something coming here, what is it? Oh no, I know what it is, it's this guy. Oh wow, we're very strong, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, I think this goes to the boss, let's go up instead. Third to go for specific reasons, events, people, etc. But are you traveling that far usually? Are you traveling like... I think it's a bigger travel or... I don't know how long the flight would be from uh, between our places. Probably it's a long flight or... I usually don't travel that long, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't do it. It's just... Uh, yeah, usually when I, when I travel, I don't fly longer than like... Two, three, maximum like four hours. But not because I can't or so, it's just like, this is what I typically do. I can travel that long, I've done it before, ah, okay. I have, for example, never visited America and I thought about visiting it uh, many times, but... Yeah, I don't know, somehow it never happened. Been to US three times, oh wow! Been to UK and France, okay, well then you've been... You've been around, baby, man, you've been around. Been to Japan, whoa, okay. Cool. We've really been around a lot. Nice. They're getting hit a lot. I've been mostly around Europe. I think I've only been around Europe. Now that I'm thinking about it. I've been a lot around Europe. Also, all kinds of different countries in Europe. But I think I've been only around Europe. I think so. Mm. Let's take a heal, I think we'll get enough mana back to... Honestly, well, the magic they are doing is reason for 50% plus of my travels, really? Oh wait, I missed a message. Uh, Japan was only like a couple of nights for a magic they were in tournament. Oh really, you're traveling this far for magic? That's cool. Nice. I didn't know you were that serious about it. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait, last time I didn't do that. I didn't know that you can ignite those. Hmm. Yeah, that was like eight years ago. Ah. Oh. The old mana that didn't know any better, huh? <laughs> would you would you do it again today, the same way? <laughs> the old bachelor mana, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always 
was trying to think that um, sometimes fade away, but other cool times come by, so things are not getting like worse, things are just different. That's how I think about it. And if you disagree, then fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is my copium. <laughs> okay, now I think we should go up first because I have the feeling that up is where the heart container is. On the outside. Mm-hmm. Ah, it was that thing, cool. There's some really cool creative ideas in this game. Like this thing. Oh man, wow, you have to be fast, holy shit. How can you be so- Whoa, okay. Are you could- Can you hit all three at once? Yes. Wow. Nice. Okay. By the way, you've not been here yesterday at the end, right? At the end yesterday, my stream crashed. It was pretty funny. I know if you if, if you saw it in the in the Discord. No, it was funny. I uh, try. I was trying to end the stream, switched over to the credits, and said like, "Okay, guys." And it basically, in that moment when I tried to end it, um, OBS crashed and didn't send any more stream. So then I was suddenly uh, like, it showed like you know the disconnect symbol of of Twitch. <laughs> When people were like, wait, what, did you end or not? What's happening? <laughs> and then this uh, OBS was really fucked up, so nothing didn't work anymore. I had to even kill the process in the end, because I couldn't close OBS anymore. It was really weird. Never happened before. OBS was working very well so far for me. I think I never had an issue with OBS. You oh, know, that looks dangerous here. That red one. Mmm, great. Oh. Okay, that was not too hard. There we have it. Cool. I do think again there is another piece that we can get, but let's get it after the after the palace. Will be easy. By the way, I saw there is now a release date for the for the physical copy of Pikmin. Have you seen? I mean, Pikmin 1 and 2, so the remakes. I think it's mid of September. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Eventually, at least. I don't know if I get it right away, but uh, eventually I'll, I'll get that. Not following it? Okay. I really like the first game. And the second game I also enjoyed, but I only finished it like 75%. I never really finished the second, so... I want to get the copy and then, and then play it. It's way back in the list of games. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. It is what it is. Or is the boss here? I really don't remember if the boss is here at the bottom. I would say it's at the bottom because at the bottom was a knight and a knight is a pretty advanced enemy, so... Oh shit. But could also be here, I'm not sure. Uh... I know, I think he is this kind of thing thrower. Yeah, the... yeah this is the key, yeah, exactly. And seven, and here we go. Man, it was so strong, it's crazy. Whoa, oh uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I really forgot about that. Cool. Bad time, all right. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by, man. Have a good night, I hope to see you soon. Uh, also have a good start in the week. Don't let work pressure you down and uh, annoy you. Keep the good mood. Enjoy life, be happy, and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care.
my friend. Bye bye. All right, time to kick a first boss's ass. Okay. That's pretty easy. Okay. Yeah, we reached that pretty well. Hope he's not jumping forward. Okay, got him! Uh, we could use a protect and then take the mana potion. Because there's not much else. Man, we are strong. <laughs> With level 8 sword, of course. Yeah, this is the boss already, I think. Let's take the protect. And I don't know if we can do... Uh, we can't do a heal, that sucks. Alright, let's try to kill him. Okay. Wait a minute. Dude, I'm missing this. Wait, is it not the head? I thought it's the head. Dude, what am I? You have to use fire or something? What the hell? Okay. Okay, it's dead. I don't know, you have to hit deep inside the head or something? I don't know exactly what that was. But nonetheless, nonetheless we killed it, so let's go. Now let's see, is that level up? Seems so. Not sure what exactly happens when you when you acquire a new level now, because I don't think you can have more than level nine. We're still level nine, so I don't know. I I, I don't know. I think. Ooh, wait a second! Wait a second! There is an island. Did you guys see that? There is an island on top here. Maybe that's Whale Island? That is interesting. I gotta keep that in mind. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's go back. Can take this shortcut here. Timing is a little off, but hope it gets better. Uh, yo, let's check a few of the uh, few of the map parts here. I think there is nothing in the top left here, but on the top right there should be something. Let's try to reach that. I think here is a heart container, no? And I think this is uh, this could enlarge our health bar now. Oh no, it's a mana. Okay, it's mana. That's also okay. We'll take it. Okay. Cool.
Okay, I think we can go now to the cave where we find the... How is it called? The idol or something? And we can also check, I think, in one of the forest tiles somewhere. I know I, it's very vague. I think here in some of the forest tile there's also a extra, but I really don't remember where it was. So we have to search a little bit. We could get the map, but yeah, it'll take a while. All right, now, what's here? Oh, it was this. Yeah, that sucks, of course. Oh, really? Oh, come on, really? Okay, there we go. Maybe you just jump to be... S I don't know if that's a good idea, let's try. Hope that bat is not making any problems. Not anymore, okay. You're not doing anything anymore, buddy. <laughs> okay, um... Yo, we got this. Nice. Got him! We didn't use jump, but I think we don't need it. I uh, think the jumps were not so far. Cool, got it. By the way, my Twitch... Uh, my Twitch alarms are not working on OBS, so I can't see them. I think they are happening, but I can't see them, so... Maybe I can, uh, oh wait, I can, I think I can recover this. Yeah, by putting it somewhere like this. Oh no, they're working. No, but okay, another part is not working. Well, anyways, let's, uh, let's continue. Oh. No! Fuck. Stop it. Okay, let's first return the... Um, the idol or whatever it is and uh, yeah then we see what else is next it would be cool if we can get the ferry it's a very good item oh no thanks I'm good what it was this ah okay I am error. I think we have to visit him later. Don't remember exactly why, but I'm pretty sure he appeared somewhere. I think it said visit error of uh, of the city for whatever reason. Not sure there was something left in the first city to do. There's still Anju for later, but <clears throat> I think that's mostly it. Ah, oh, there we put the idol. Or, we don't put it, but somebody else puts it there. Think this one? Yep. You saved the tro trophy! Okay, not idol, trophy. Yeah. Idol was more like Indiana Jones. <laughs> okay, now let's give me something. Downward step would be perfect, but I don't think so. Ah, oh, no. We get the jump. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Well, the circle second is northeast. We'll write that down. Second is northeast. Northeast. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Um. There was a P back. Okay, it seems there's nothing more. Hmm. 
Hmm. What's next? No, who there? Use keys in palaces they are found in. Okay, thanks for this completely useless trick. Oh, there was something here, yeah. North Rudo Mountains. Oh, uh, guess jump. Ah, I remember you have to use the downward stab, right? That's how you get over here. Yeah, of course. Right, yeah. Oh, no! I can't explain how that happened, really. I don't... I don't know. Okay, we need the downward step, so this area is for now off-limits. New... Is that, like, a save point? Yo, it is. What is that doing? This woman is very static. Do not go south without a candle. I got you, lady. All good. Um, I still wanted to check out what is there. I've, I have a strong feeling that there is something in the forest. But uh, I really don't remember it. Yes, it is. Welcome, uh, David Amber. This is the remake. And this is second quest. We finished, like, first quest, uh, I think more than a week ago. And there was an area that I haven't been able to enter. And I think this uh, area was sealed off for second quest. That's why I got instantly interested in, in playing second quest. And, yeah, well, now we're doing it. game. Oh, well, Second Quest, do you know what is so special about Second Quest? I didn't even know there was one. Um, yeah, I can't show you because the first quest is overwritten with Second Quest. So when you're going... When you're going towards the Grand Palace, so the last palace, you're going through this mountain path and there's always these uh, random encounters. And when you go instead of, let's say, kinda northish, you go south you can make it over the water, over the ocean, to a extra island. I found that. You just need the boots, so you can walk over the water. But then there's kind of a Triforce barrier, and I couldn't do anything. And I think it's related to the that you, uh, you get the Triforce at the end of the game, and you keep it in the second playthrough. So I think if I'll make it again to this island, I think we can enter through the barrier and then see what's there. This is at least my theory, so I'm kind of hyped for what happens there. <laughs> I have to be a little careful here. There are so many additional areas in this game. It's really, it's really super cool. Uh, also around the about the starting palace here. I know how it's called. Hey, we found it. This is the area that I was looking for. I knew there is something somewhere. Oh wow, we better... Ah oh, no, we don't need to heal. We just take this. Ha! Nice.
Ah, shh. Okay, got it. Cool. So I was here, okay. Uh, I think that was pretty much all around here we can do. And we could make our way to the second dungeon. So you played the second quest, but not the... No, the first quest, but not the second. Have you also played the original? Uh, so not the not Hoverbats version, but the one from the NES? anything else to do? I think we have everything. Don't remember so well if there's something. So we just have to walk through all the tiles once. <laughs> I was a kid in the 1980s. I beat it as an adult. I watched Vinny of Vine, so I was better test the Hobbit version, but I haven't seen much more. Ah, okay. Yeah, I never played the original back in the day. I'm somehow not getting the rhythm here. Crap. Oh man. Uh, Yo, yeah, I've never played the original back in the day, but I played the original first time, I think, last December or so. We made a Breath of the Wild playthrough, and then we started together on the channel with Zelda 1, and then Zelda 2, and it's the first time I played it. And I was lucky enough to have some cool guys on the stream that helped me with the cryptic parts, like um, finding the guy that um, lowers the bridge in the third city, you know, to Death Mountain and so on. So if you do a very cryptic thing, some people help me with it. And that made it all together in a super enjoyable experience. Because I think the only problems with the game are really some of the cryptic puzzles, but the rest of the game with the battle mechanics are actually pretty cool. You truly can't appreciate how awesome this is without playing the original. It's such an improvement. Both quality of life issues and new substance, but not too much of new stuff to change the game. Yeah, I think it's amazing how Hoverbat put in the new parts and they feel just like the old parts. It's it's an absolute achievement for me. Both difficulty-wise, also graphically, even though they look a little better, they, they fit in super well. So that's really great. It was cool, Hoverbird joined actually uh, when I played through the game and I was in the Grand Palace, he joined the Twitch uh, channel here and we talked a little bit. It was an awesome moment. I was so happy. Maybe it was a little uh, fanboying out, but <laughs> it was a cool moment. Hey, thank you for the follow, man. Thank you very much. Now, um... I think we can... Question is now if I remember where the guy is sitting for the bridge. I'm not so sure anymore. What was here? I think we need something that we don't have yet, or... No? Uh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. We need... Um, yeah. We need the item from the palace. I think it's the glove. Uh, yo, what I forgot was... Uh, we could have checked out the palace in which Zelda is in, because behind that palace there's also a lot of new content with some extras, including this strange blob thing that we haven't solved on the first playthrough. Now where was it? Was it here? Oh. Ah, I reached in time. 
the safe zone. I think it's here if we go up more. Yes. Man, first time finding this is a pain in the ass, but it's much better now. <laughs> Bagu, yes. Okay, we get the note, cool. Alright. Yeah, that's the problem that all uh, tiles around Bagu's house are basically traps that will spoil enemies, so. You have to specifically go for a trap and then walk past it. That's, uh, well. Oh, another one. Uh -huh. city I oh, guys everywhere oh um, let me think what do we have to do next I think we can get the hammer from death mountain that's a good idea but on the other hand I don't remember exactly the path so it will take a little yeah this is Bagu's pet yeah That baby master is in the woods north of river. Ew. We don't need this hint anymore. We could do the next dungeon already. It wouldn't be too hard because we have... We, I mean, we have good spells. We have already heal. We are level 9. We could do that before we get the hammer. Or we could get the hammer. Lost a mirror in the cemetery. I don't remember exactly where that was. Oh, the mini game that was hard and annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of the mini games. I don't know if I can still do it. It's pretty hard. I won all the mini games on the first playthrough, but they're really tough. And I already failed. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I missed a lot. Twenty six, I think that's nothing, yeah. Twenty six is I think a fail. Alright, maybe we do that another time. And we keep going for a little. to kill the blob in the first castle. We can do it at any point, but uh, just saying. How did we get it? It's somewhere up. I guess the mirror is somewhere here. Oh, what? Oh, I thought this is a road tile. Guess it's not. You also enjoy the... A link to the past? I guess it's here. Yep. There's the mirror. Okay, 
Do we get the downward step? If so, then it's totally worth going back. If not, then it's it's not really worth, but I don't remember what we get a downward step. Maybe here? Ah, uh, no, I think it's the next town where you have to go in the second floor. I only really like this game. Never got into one or link to the past. Okay. Yes, mirror. Think that. Yeah, I think the guy has a spell that we already own, so we'll just get an information about the stone circle. Or the boulder circle. Boulder circle, third is south. Let's uh, save that. Third is south. Okay. There's a long way to go. Okay. I really think they should make like new games like those, you know, keep it 2D, real 2D, not even needed, like, like if you play Link's Awakening for Switch, it's like a 3D game that is put into a 2D system. So you have only two ways to go, either up, down or left, right, but the graphics are 3D and everything, but why not just make a new game like this in 2D? With nice cool graphics similar to this game you know i would enjoy that very much you could put in current features or current uh, state-of-the-art features like randomizers like uh online uh championship like race modes you know that you can play against your friends and you see maybe in a small screen how far they are and so on that'd be really cool like a little bit like um how is it called sm35 so Mario 35, I think, for the anniversary, where you could play like a Battle Royale mode on Mario. You know, something like that would be really cool. I don't know, they maybe they think there's no market for that or so. No, we don't need it. I think if we go all left, we come to the secret island. Oh. Let's go the safe way. Okay. down and then over and we're really powerful with with nine nothing is a challenge here said that we don't have the downward step that would make it so much easier it's really one of the best techniques in the game okay uh, yo I think we're right here should be the entrance to the secret island. Oh, no! <laughs> wow, I jumped too late. This was... Uh... Can we walk over this? I think we can walk over this, alright. Yeah. Ah, shit. You need jump for that? Really? No, yeah, okay. Right. Let's use jump. yourself please thank you <laughs> yeah this is a tough jump 
Oh, come on, really? Fuck. Oh, man. I think this is last life. I hope we can do this. We got... Oh man, this was weird. We got like stuck for a, for a very short moment. And uh, I thought we're dead. Oh man, that was stressful. Okay, cool. We made it over here. No, what do we have to do here? Don't remember so well. I think we get an... I think we get the ring here, or... I think we get the ring here. Oh man, it was very close. Oh no, it's an extra life, nice. Yay, extra life. Also, uh, in uh, as a difference to the original version, the extra lives are persistent. So if we lose all of our lives, then afterwards, next time when we start, we still have one life more than before. It's very useful. I think we can't do much here on this side or yeah. We can only come back. Dude! Leave me alone. Alright, I think we're... Aren't we already at the hammer now? Um, not so sure. But yeah, I think we are. This is... Should be a shortcut. Cool. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh man, this is so cool. This is extremely cool. But first of all, we'll get the hammer and then we'll, we'll fix this. There's a really, really cool secret here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fuck that up, so let's do this. Okay. Yeah, this is a really cool secret here. The secrets in this game are fantastic. It's not clear for me what you have to do in this room, for example. On the way out, we can check this uh, this secret. I think the hammer is here. Oh, some uh, platforming. Great. Come on. No. Yes, 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 yes. Jump! Good. <laughs> Whew. Oh, nice. And there we have a hammer. Okay, that guy already suicided, so we have an easy way through here. Very 
Nice. Okay, I think there is some small extra on the left here, like a pee bag or so. Oh. Dude, the range. I think there's like one room or yeah. Ah oh, it's a okay, it's a big mana potion. Ah, well. Alright, let's go for the secret here. Really like the secret. Um, they have really the right difficulty in this game that you might have to think a few moments for it, but then you do figure out what to do or how to do. So, when I first passed this area, I didn't find anything. I was just thinking, okay, that's it, we got the hammer, you, let's go. But later on, when you come back and you have the map, the map is showing you every location with a symbol that there is more to find. So I knew that here, there should be a blob somewhere. I had just no idea how to find the blob. Shit. And so I started walking this way several times to uh, see something and then I found something. If you can see, one of them looks not like the others and it's this one. So when you jump on this one, then the next one looks weird. Then you jump on this one. And then 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 we got the blob. And now we fight this thing. It's pretty easy because they're very strong. And we kill the blob. A secret blob. So cool. I like the secret so much in this game. Now, I have never really checked out the cemetery because it's a super dangerous area. I'm thinking we could try now, but I also think I don't have much lives left. Or how many do we have? We have one extra life left. It's not great. Uh, what am I doing? Hmm... Was there anything else here? What am I doing? I'm running into all these enemies. There's the boulder circle at the bottom. Maybe we try once the thing. It's gonna be terrible, but... Well, we gotta try it once. Let's see what's on the cemetery, if there's anything. Shit, we already got caught. Oh no, we don't have downward step, I forgot about that. It's crazy that we have so much life. Usually you die so fast here. There's really nothing? There's nothing. Okay, cool. Well, now we know there's nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, that was something. Let's heal. Guess we can go home now. No. Maybe we should have taken a different way. Maybe that's not a good way. Let's use that because then we have the range attack again. So it's a little bit of a benefit using it. 
There's another secret island. Did we go there? I don't remember. We really have to check that out later when we have the boots. And what is that? Where does that get us? I don't remember the map so well. It's only been like two weeks and I don't remember exactly where to go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another heart piece. Very nice. Where are we? Ah, it's the first. Okay. Wait, what? What? Wait, are we? Oh my god, we are... We skipped the second temple. We are on the other side. How is that possible? Wow, that is crazy. We are in the... Th is that supposed to happen? We're on the way to the third uh, city, uh, to the fourth city and the third temple, so kind of shortcut at the second temple. Okay, we can destroy the boulders anyway, then it doesn't matter that we're here. It's okay. Um, cool. Uh, maybe that's an advantage, maybe we can get something from here. Yo, yeah, let's save. Isn't there here maybe the downward step? Because that would be a cool thing to have it. Okay, let's get some mana back. Ask Arrow of Rudo about the palace. Uh, okay. Rudo, Arrow of Rudo. It's a second city and I think he's guarding the tunnel ways. The island palace is in the south and has a raft. Okay. Cool. Ah, I know what this is. Um, yeah. Rescue the fairy in the North Rudol Mountains. This is very important. How's it going? Hey, Daph! Welcome, welcome! It's going really good. I'm playing second quest of this game. You know, I love the original. I love also the Hufflepuff version and now we're returning for the, for the second quest. So, playing this game for the X time and still seeing something new. <laughs> That's really nice. Wait, what is that? Why does that look so weird? What the f- what the f? <laughs> um, what? Wait, what? Why? Do we need the glove? Shit. I think we need the glove to, to get here. That sucks. Alright, then we do have to go to the second dungeon. And how are you doing? Did you- did you get some more sleep today? I hope so. Child is sick, we need an I.O. flower. Where was that again? I remember that I found that. But I don't remember exactly where I found that. It only grows in the Morgue Swamp Cave. Cool. Hey, we can find the arrow guy here. No? Oh. Sorry about that. Are you feeling okay with uh, how it is, or...? Uh, I should have checked here where this goes. The next elevator goes to... Rudo? Roru. Then we have to go... to... Then this, I think, goes to Rudo. Yes. I think the arrow guy was in Rudo. Let's see if he's here in the next room. I'm fine, yeah, okay. South of King's Tomb in Mido is a tunnel. Yeah, we 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 know that. Okay. Good. How much uh how much sleep do you get in average per day? I'm kinda curious now. I mean if you don't feel comfortable about talking about it then you don't have to. I'm don't wanna be nosy, but <clears throat> 
I would, uh, I would be uh, interested in that. Hey, this is Mito. Okay. Probably four to six. Ooh, okay. When I was younger, I cut down on sleep to do a lot of things. And <laughs> one of them was playing video games, of course. <laughs> and um, it worked for me. But then I grew older and it didn't work so well anymore. <clears throat> so when I don't have enough uh, sleep, it's uh, causing issues for me now. So, yeah, I... If I have less than seven, I can recover a bit, but if I have less than seven for a while, it's a problem. So, yeah. I was going six and below six regularly when I was younger, but yeah, it's not possible anymore. What do we get when we find the IO flower anyways? Oh shit. Is the flower maybe here? Uh, no, but this is also good. Man, when you have level 9 in all categories, the game is much easier. <laughs> This is not a commitment, but would you have uh, in an interest in the future to at some point play more of Sea of Thieves? I know you're currently probably still stuck in FF16 and this is your priority, but like eventually it's something you would like to go back to? I haven't played it for at least a month, but I would like to go back eventually, play a little bit more. Thinking maybe we'll make the tour outside first and then we go to the temple. Most likely beat FF16 this, this weekend? This weekend? Do you have a long weekend or are you really close? <laughs> because yeah, we're um, there's not so much time left for this weekend, right? Okay, we do the north first. I think there is a bold, yeah, a boulder cave here. Yeah. Oh, week. Sorry, I I read weekend. Sorry, okay, I was a little uh, surprised. <laughs> okay, I don't remember this. What was this? Uh, except a lot of enemies at once. Uh, but if I just did the story, I could likely beat it tonight. Oh, okay, so you're close, cool. We got the IL flower, nice. Man, this area looks so cool. I love it. Yeah. 
I really think the graphic is so nice of the additional area. This is really... Looks great. I love it. Hmm. I think we'll use jump again. Just to be safe. majority of the things here question is when we've handed the flower do we already get the downward step because that would be super cool oh man let's give the flower back maybe we get the downward step that makes a lot of things easier and unlocks even more items we can get for example the fairy then the, the red fairy, which is really, really useful. Oh, where is the lady? No, now that I think it, I think we get the downward step from the from the tower and in the tower you need the glove so you need to do the second temple first before you can continue boulder circle ask the wise man yeah i think we'll just get information about the boulder circle here We already have the spell. We already have the spell, yeah. Okay. I don't know if we need jump. No, we can do it. Nice. But then shouldn't be the wise man be back? Because I still have to ask him about the... Um, about the boulder circle? That's not a fairy. It's a chicken fairy. <laughs> now, um, it's a cool twist. So when you usually get the spell exactly in this position, the magic or the wise man tells you, I got this powerful fairy spell. And then you use it, and you become a chicken. And then he says, Oh no, that happened again. <laughs> and from then on, you only become a chicken. <laughs> and that's all there is. It's a pretty fun twist, I think. So the game is, is put in a way that you reach everything with the chicken that you need to reach. It's a little different mechanic. It's a little more advanced because with a fairy... You, I don't want to say it's easy mode, but the fairy has a lot of advantages. Um, and the chicken doesn't so much, so the chicken is a little more difficult to play. So it's more balanced. I used the fairy on the way to the Grand Palace to skip most of the enemies. It uh, makes it really much easier. So I guess there's no way around uh, the palace number two. Okie dokie. What's next? Um, I think the palace. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of anything else we can do right now. Oh, we can do one more thing. We can go down here. Eh, but well then we have to go in the city. We can try. 
I think there was also an update somewhere there, but I don't really remember where it is. Ah, shit, I thought I can jump over it. Forward. Yeah, what's here? Uh, just a pee bag. Okay. Pee bags are basically useless, if I'm not mistaken, unless you want to buy the map. They will be useful to buy the map, but until then, we will probably. Dude, I just want to get this. <laughs> um, before we get to the m buying the map. We'll probably solve a dungeon, which means we'll get a level up and all the XP is lost. I think the XP is lost if you get a level up. Now let's see what's here. Oh, another one of those. Okay, what do we have here? Is that maybe Wild Island? Could it be? That the book is here somewhere? Oh no, no, hmm. No good control. I don't think he's anything. No, nothing. Okay, time to return to... Yeah, that's really the second dungeon now, that's mostly it. I think we could beat it, yeah, I think we can beat it. And we have sword level 9, that's really easy mode for everything. Fairy <laughs> ever. <laughs> of course. There's something here. Uh, we shouldn't. Yeah, we shouldn't play with that. at the second palace finally cool mm, we can get up there with a ah we need the glove for that okay yo we need the glove 
Man, this music is so good. Love it. Could listen to this music endlessly. I mean, you do have to listen to this music endlessly in the game. Because it's a short, <laughs> short sample that's getting repeated all the time. But I have no problem with that at all. I think it sounds really great. Ah, I think I know what... Yeah, we have those. Uh, I'm not so trained anymore in getting rid of them. So you can destroy them and they don't respawn, I think. Oh man, but... <laughs> Not that way. Oh boy, I'm terrible at this. Usually I just evade them, and when you have the downwards or upwards thrust, then it's much easier to kill them. So I don't kill them at this early point usually, I just thought because we're so strong, we can try to risk a fight. Okay, those are very annoying. Oh jeez. I think there was nothing over here. Yes. True. Oh my god, dude. Got him. I have a Game Watcher Force, which I'm not sure what I'll use it on. Yeah, I saw they made actually, a, they made a commercial for that, for the offer that you mentioned that you can buy two vouchers for a reduced price. And I think they just made it a few days ago again, so seems you can still renew that offer. Is there a good selection or, I mean, is it like all games or is there a selection of games that you can use it on? I think also, it's valid for one year. Ah, okay, so that's how they limit it. There was also, I think, an offer on Amazon.com. For you, it's not relevant because you already have it, but Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe, I think, was $30 on Amazon.com as a code. A pretty nice offer. You also need Switch Online for the voucher thing, really? Yeah, then the deal is not that good because uh, I mean yeah it still depends if you find a good offer like if you have a group for family share or something then it's a it's a cool offer but if you have to buy it on top then yeah it's not too great um, seven uh, I'm a little afraid here okay just die. Okay. And what's the link of the eligible games? You can also get multiple vouchers. Okay. I think it's not for me because I'm such a fan of um, physical games that probably um, I will not uh, I will not use it. But I was thinking posting the offer that is for. Uh, oh, yeah, we should heal. I wanted to post the offer for Amazon.com in case we have other people from US who do not own Mario Kart and are interested. I think that's a cool offer for $30. Mario Kart 8 is, is, is quite nice. But then you also need kind of switch online because how else would you play with other people? Have you been here already? Mm, yes, and I think here was the key door. Oh no. No, there was no key door. There was a key here. Um, I'm... I think I'm... Oh, sh man, I have to get used to that. I was good at dodging them, but now I am kind of feel like I should fight them, and that's really a problem because I'm fucking it up. <laughs> yep, evading is the best option, I think. Dude. No, I hate this. 
Come on, guys. Yep. If I think about games that are getting released this year, I'm not so sure I'm interested in more Switch games. The most interested probably I've been in uh, Pikmin 4, but I haven't played Pikmin 3. So I already own Pikmin 3 and I'll, I'll play that eventually. But I think that's mostly it. Well, to finish my dinner, time to get back to F16. Catch you next time. All right, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good time. Oh, I forgot to heal. Shit. Well, never mind. Okay. Um. Well, maybe we can get another one here, or. Yep. We can get another one here. Okay. Nothing on this side, okay. Ah, it's this shit. Yeah, this is very annoying and I think we have to hurry. Because we don't have the glove. When you have the glove, then you can kill those blocks and get underneath them. But as long as you don't have the glove, you just have to hurry to get through. We are so strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have one more key. Nice. And there it is. Cool. Now we can destroy the blocks. That unlocks a lot of things also. It unlocks also the downward thrust, if I'm not mistaken. Just let me through. <laughs> I don't want to wait forever. <laughs> okay. Good. I think we're now on the direct way to the boss. Because we have already the item. There shouldn't be anything else there except the item at the beginning, at the entrance of the dungeon. And that we can also get after we killed the boss. Probably easier even. If the boss is already dead and we're getting teleported out. Oh. oh. There we go. It, but okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. time um, up or this way not sure anymore This is a one-way street. This is the boss room, so soon. So let's go the other way first. See what we can find the other way and then go over here. Oh, we can kill the boss on the first try. I think the second one was also rather easy compared to later bosses. I mean, most bosses are okay if you know like how they will behave in this game. But some of them are still challenging while some others are pretty weak. 
Yo, it was good that we turned out here first. What is behind here? What is this? What? Don't remember. Ah, oh, no, I do remember that. Yes, nice. This means our mana is enlarged. And this is very good for us. Because we already have mana level 9, that means all the spells are very cheap. And with 5 boxes we can use a lot of spells then. We can use protection and heal both in one uh, without a recharge and so on. So, quite nice. Very useful. Okay, let's go to the boss. Um, oh, cool. Full. Nice. Okay, now. There is this one jumping thing where we came to the pee bag, but the pee bag is really useless because doesn't matter if we have more XP or not, we won't make 6,000 XP, so as soon as we kill the boss, we'll get a level up anyway. And that's just uh, it. Okay, there's a few more knights here, if I remember correctly. Uh, there's one. There was one, and I think there's a second one coming, and then there's the boss. Yeah, there's another one. We can take it, but it's really useless. So, there is the curtain, we know what that means. It means boss mode. Let's go! Ah, uh, this guy. I think this guy was on by the head, so we have to hurry a little bit. Let's get ready for the heat. What? But there's also other enemies on the bottom. What the hell is going on here? I think we should kill him fast. Because of the damage. Okay. Having a little bit of trouble, I think we heal. Wait, how much health? How much health does he have? Um, I'm a little stuck here, stun locked, you could say. Dude, I'm not getting this hits off. How? Wow, this guy has a lot of health. Because we have attack nine. Okay, he's done. But it's, I think. Okay, I wanted to say I think this is not yet over, but it actually is. Is this, what is this, mana? Yes, cool. All right, we're done, nice. That was an intense fight, so on second quest, the boss fights are more challenging because you are more powerful. Interesting, this was only the boss level two and it was already annoying, so I'm afraid next one will be even worse. Okay, let's go back and get whatever is on top of here. Yeah, we don't need the pee bag. Do we? No, we don't need the pee bag. We don't need to go up. No, doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, next drive. Cool. Very nice. 
<laughs> nice. Mm, I don't think we can make it up there, can we? up there okay uh, we got another extra life that's really cool um, means we can wait is there still a bottle yeah nice uh, yeah we can actually survive now because we were low on lives oh, we have two extra lives now really nice uh, we can make it back downwards south through the new cave because we can destroy the blocks and then we can make it to the third fourth fourth city and get the downward step, I think. Yes. Yes, nice. Now we're down here. Okay, now uh, we need the downward step and then we can get the ferry, which is uh, one hell of a find. The fairy is really, really useful. So in case you're not aware, um, there's a red fairy that you can find, and when you find her, it's like an item, so you keep it continuously, uh, or forever. And when you jump off a ledge and you land in the water, usually you drown and you lose a life. So what happens if you have the fairy is, you just lose like one box of your health, but not your life, so the damage is small compared to losing a complete life. It's a very, very good item. And uh, yeah, so this is something we should really get early in case we're fucking up any jump. We'll be fine then. Now let's go up here. Yeah, I think we can destroy them now. Oops. This, I don't know what this is. This is a teleportation point. Not fully aware how it works, but it is a teleportation point. that connects some areas. When you jump, press downward to stab. Yo. There we go. Most important thing in the game. Does he have anything else to say? I don't think so. Let's re-enter. Hold jump to get a better bounce. Oh yeah, that's true. Ah, oh, it's so good that he told us that because I would have forgotten that again. That's something that I forget so easily. I don't think it's in the original as well. So... Yeah, so if you make a downward step on an enemy, you, you bump like a little bit upwards of the enemy. But if you hold A press, then you make a big bump upwards, so... That's a huge difference. What do you have to say, buddy? The island palace is in the, has a raft. Okay. Um, what we should do is now we should really try to get the ferry, which is a longer quest, but... I mean, not super long, but a little longer. Is that the... That is the quest for the ferry? Where is the tunnel? I hit some magic in Midoro Swamp. Midoro Swamp. Where is that? Also, you suck, dude. Why don't you just give it to me? <laughs> uh...
This is, I think, a save point, no? Yo, that's okay, but we're looking for the tunnel system. Let's enter the city from the opposite side. So let's exit to the right. And let's enter from the left. The small, easy way to enter from the opposite side and then go fast on the other side. Okay, here we are. I think we have to go full left to make it to Rudo. To Raru, that's the first city. That's where Anja, Anju is. To Rudo, okay. This is where I want to go. This is the arrow guy. to find the house where the fat lady is in. Hey, Bacon! Welcome, welcome and hello! How you doing, man? Good to see you! We have to find the house with the fat lady and uh, there's a back exit. That's it. And yo, this gets us to the part where we have to go. The ferry should be somewhere hidden there. Hope that I can do it. Yes. Okay, that works well. Nice. All right, now we have to get up here. Whoa. Okay, maybe we uh, use jump again. <laughs> okay, much better. Doing good. Should sleep, but I'm not. Yeah, I know. Same here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, we did it, nice. Oh yeah, the blob is here. It's difficult to find, but yeah, we'll find it. 2 a.m. vibes. Okay, for me it's 1 a.m. vibes, but uh, similar. Are you from? I'm from Germany. But it's a big time zone, so... Okay, this will be a little bit of... Uh, platforming. Okay, now I worked. Should have known. Yeah, I mean, people can probably tell with my accent, so. <laughs> Maybe not too much of a surprise. Maybe it looks funny for you that I'm messing up here, but you have to have some momentum to jump a little higher. If I jump like this, you see it's not enough. So you have to have some momentum to make it. That's why you have to walk a little bit first and then you jump. All right. Yep. And it's also some tight jumps. 
So what are you up to? Have you had some communication with uh, with Rafe? I haven't seen him for a while. Seems uh, since his uh, apartment is getting renovated, he's not on so often. Jump up. Man. Another one of those black rooms. It's so strange. I don't exactly understand what you're supposed to do in there. Yeah, he's at a friend's house or something. Maybe a bathroom will be done in like a week. And I haven't spoken with him since the last stream, I think. Okay, then it's the same with me. Yeah, I think he said it takes two weeks, so... I'd also say maybe... Maybe uh, one week or so. But I also remember last time I met him, he said that... He's a little afraid because the guys didn't even show up on the first day. So hopefully they can finish in time, so... Yeah, I don't know. All you can do is hope for the best. Alright, this mana potion is good in case you run out, but for now we use what we have. And we use jump. Oh, whoa, what? Okay. Here's some nice Mega Man kind of platforming. Whoa. No! And this jump is difficult to the last small platform, it's uh, also like feels a little slippery. Okay, we made it nice. Cool. I think we don't want to go there, but instead we want to go up all the way. I think that was where the ferry was. Phew. No, no. <laughs> okay, when we fall, we have to be careful so we don't fall all the way. Um, alright. Yeah, this is a difficult jump. Because, uh, you have to change directions. Right? Yeah, you have to jump here to the right and then instantly to the left. Oh yeah, I made it nice. Cool. There is the quest item. Got the fairy. Yeah, the fairy is very useful because again, we take now much less damage if we fall into some kind of water. We used to lose a whole life, now we only lose a little bit of health. Is that already where we get the blob? No, that's not where the blob is, right? No, it's not here. Okay. I think there is not much here. There is, I think, only the pee bag, which is kind of useless to us. Yeah, so you can make it when you make this jumping, you can make it up to the pee bag here on the right. And it's not so impactful. Let's try to get the... Let's try to get the blob here, which is not so easy because you have to steer to the left. Last time I made it wrong. Then I learned it, so we'll jump here and then we go left, 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 and then, yeah. That's the trick. You think you're jumping down the, next to the wall, but when you're entering the next screen, you're actually not to, next to the wall anymore, you're pushed out. So you have to really steer over. Whoop. Okay, that's all here. Is the heat wave getting some effect to you a little bit, or is it mostly with southern countries? We have also a crazy heat, heat wave here for us. Um, in the last two weeks, there was two days where it had 36 degrees here, which is a lot for us, 36. And, um, you know, 
ACs are not so common in Germany in the apartments. In the cars we all have it, but in the apartments it's rarely to have an AC. And therefore, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not so comfortable here. Oh, that was close. Oh no! Ah, well now we have the advantage of the ferry already. We didn't die. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm personally pretty fine lately because I, uh, I'm uh, luckily currently doing pretty well. I'm, uh, yeah, did a lot of sports lately, so I'm in good shape, and I'm I'm not suffering so much. But uh, yeah, some other people are. So also my apartment is not under the roof. I'm a little lucky in that case because if it's under the roof, of course you. Yeah, you have like three, four, five degrees more every day. Uh, yo, the trophy doesn't matter. What's the next thing we have to do? Mm. There ain't no heat wave for me. The only good weather ended and now it's gonna be rain and lightning for a while. Okay, um, we had several times also uh, lightning, but then usually on the next day it restarts. So there's like after the lightning, on the next day it's a little cooler, and then one day after that you have the heat wave again. <laughs> so it's like a very short thing for us. Yeah, but I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of these very hot temperatures. I, for example, I like very much going swimming in the pool on the outside in summer, but if you have degrees of like 30 plus, then also it's super full there, so I'm not enjoying that at all, so yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. Oh, okay, we already have that. Hmm, I guess we are now ready to go to the next dungeon. Or think so. Oh, the heal. Oh, the mana heal. And now uh, the health heal. And the save. Is there something around that we can do? I'm really wondering. I haven't. I think I haven't checked this area so well. I do remember there's something at the king's tomb, but the king's tomb is is a very dangerous area, and I think I feel like you need the the book to understand what is really happening at the king's tomb, and we don't have the book. Right, well, gonna go to sleep. Might even put an alarm so I don't wake up too late. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing the same. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll also call it a stream here because... Uh, yeah, doing the next palace will take a while, like another half hour or so. And uh, we can move that to tomorrow. Let's do it one last save, so we're sure about that. Alright, Bacon, have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. Have a good day tomorrow. All right. Um, with that, I guess we can uh, we can stop the game. Uh, we'll uh, continue with the game tomorrow. Target is Palace three and four. Even though to make the Palace number four, I think you have to do a lot before that. So it will take take a longer time. But I think we can do three and four together. And then if we have the boots, we can basically go nearly everywhere on the map already. Okay, so then we'll close it here.